Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. How would you make your SSIS package dynamic? With this question, what they want to understand, do you know the SSIS configuration? Because the SSIS configuration is the way to make your package dynamic. So let's take a couple of examples and explain how by using the SSIS configuration, your package is uh, behaving as more dynamic. And uh, think about that when you are developing your package on dev machine uh, with different uh, connection managers uh, with uh, different email uh, address and uh, uh, the different folder structure that you are using uh, to copy and uh, or read the files and archive the files uh, uh, to do to those folders so you are using uh, uh, variables you are using uh, connection managers you are using expressions so all those kind of thing you are using in your SSIS package but when you are moving your SSIS package from the development machine to the QA machine or UAT machine or production machine you have to have make certain changes to work uh, so your package can work in those environments if uh, you haven't used the configuration so there is no way you can uh, pass the uh, values uh, for the connection manager or maybe the variables uh, and it, even uh, variables uh, you have might have used in the expressions uh, so you cannot really change those uh, things uh, uh, for different environments so what uh, we, we have to do if you haven't used the configuration what you have to do you have to create the separate copies for each of uh, the environment and deploy your package so you are not having one true copy of your SSIS package you are having four or five copies according to the environments you have in your uh, company so uh, if uh, you need to make your package dynamic uh, you need to use the configuration and uh, that's the way to go by using configuration you will be able to change uh, the um, or provide uh, the connection manager values uh, like such a server name database name uh, you will be able to pass the value of the variables uh, think about that you you are using different email uh, to uh, for um, maybe error handling and you want to send an email to the production support team instead of a DBS team when you you or a developers team when you are in a dev or QA or UAT so when you are running the package in production support you need to send the email to the production support team and maybe there are some other users you want to include them if you are using a variable in um, the send mail task you can configure that variable by using SSIS configuration and pass those uh, uh, email addresses uh, to the variable and variable will be used in the send mail task uh, and you do not have to make any changes but only you will be making changes in the configuration that can be XML uh, file or that can be SQL server table or maybe if you are using uh, project based um, uh, deployment in a uh, SSIS 2012 or SSIS 2014 you will be having environments and variables there and or parameters and passing the value to the packages so shorten this out uh, SSIS configuration is the is the way uh, to go and uh, make your SSIS package uh, dynamic and uh, on each of the environment it can read uh, the different values or the parameters uh, uh, according to the requirement uh, and you don't have to make ho uh, changes inside the package every time when you deploy to the new environment. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.